guys, today I'm going to be doing a uh, video in a different area. Today I am inside my room, and hang on a second as I try to fix up my lighting a little bit. There we go. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to disassemble this guy. Uh, this is an inverter that I did a video on. In fact, I am still actually editing the video of this inverter right now. Uh, but today I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble this inverter and take a look inside of it. Alright, I'll put it here. Um, uh, this isn't normally where I do my videos in my room. But I just thought because I was inside my room, I had my camera in my room, I had my tripod in the room, I might set up here and then show you guys. And it's nice because I could sit down at my desk and then relax. Anyway, alright, so firstly what you want to do is grab your inverter and then get the, the, the top part here and then just grab it. So put your fingernails on top here and just grab. Just like that. You just pull it and it'll uh, come off. Just like that. And on this side, you want to do the same. Make sure it's on the top. You just pull it off. Comes off just like that. Alright, now what you want to do is get your cigarette lighter part or your top part. And what, what you want to do is unscrew it. So you just spin it. And then that comes off. So you've got your part there. Uh, and then you want to remove this sort of ring, and you could just do this by using your fingernail again. And then, uh, and then here it is. There's the ring. Oh, uh, you want to make sure you don't lose them. <laughs> Keep rolling off. Anyway, yeah, you need those two. And what you want to do after that is find a screw under here. Uh, underneath there, there's going to be a little uh, s a white sticker. That's your warranty sticker. So if you don't want to avoid your warranty, uh, don't don't undo the screw. But I've already avoided my warranty. So what we're going to do is grab the screwdriver and then start spinning this. I don't even know if this thing does have warranty. But you just want to undo that and then get the screw out. And then after that you want to flip the inverter the right side up. What you want to do then is put your finger up here. So this is where the case, uh, the top of the case. And you just want to pull, pull back towards you. And then pull up. Just like that. And then do the same for this side. Just pull the case this way. So that way. So pull it away. And then pull up. And then there you go, you have the access to the inside of the inverter. Uh, and that's it, you've opened up the inverter. Now, here I'm going to get a, a pretty close close-up here. I want to tell you something about this inverter uh, that you should know. Well, it's not really about this inverter, but I want to tell you something about an inverter in general. Or uh, of, of this type of inverter. Do not get this inverter. Whatever you do, do not get this one. Uh, the picture of this, as you are seeing now, this is an extremely dodgy inverter. This is off eBay for about $9, which is about $6 cheaper than this inverter. But, it comes with this terrible, um, it, it's, it's just, the quality is really cheap. But wait, I'm not finished yet. How do you reassemble this? Uh, so a lot of people, a lot of people don't show you how to do this. Usually people just show you how to take them things apart and they don't show you how to put them back together and that's just as important as taking it apart all right so what you do is you grab these two here as you can see there's the metal bits here you just want to make sure that they're tucked inside like so you just want to push them in and then make sure that they're snug in there and then they're not going to pop out as you try to put in the case so you just put that in just like so and you want to get the top part of the case with the fan and you want to just sort of smash it on Make sure that there's no cables getting stuck between the case. It's a bit uh, tricky working with springy things. Uh, it gets a bit tricky, but... Sorry if my head was in the way. But, yeah. We could uh, just mumble it up. You'll, you'll eventually get it. But uh, there you go. There's, the, uh, there's it closed. So as you can see, we have our springy things outside here. Uh, we have our uh, springy things on this side. Uh, and then there you go, there's the inverter. Now what you want to do is grab your screwdriver before you do anything else, and your screw that you took out. As you can see there's a screw hole, and you ju just want to put your screw in there, and you want to tighten it up using your screwdriver. Just easily tighten that up. Shouldn't be too hard to do, if you can take the screw off, you, I'm sure you can take a, put the screw on. So you don't want to put that too tightly, because then the p cheap plastic is going to destroy itself. And what you want to do, is is look for your ring. This little ring here. Uh, yeah, you, what you want to do is put that little ring on first. So you just slide that on, and then you want to get your little nut thing on the top, and you want to just secure that. So you put your uh, put the uh, the uh, little metal thing through there. You push down, and then you twist. You twist this in a 
clockwise direction if I'm not wrong. So yeah, spin in a clockwise direction. And you wanna, what you want to do is get your black little shieldy thingy mobob. Make sure that none of the cables like this one here is in the way. And what you want to do is just make sure that the holes on the vents here, so the little vents match up with the empty spot here. Um, just like that. So if you don't know, the two, uh, the three pins here, you want to make sure that this is on the bottom. As you can see, just like that. If it's like this, then this has to be on the bottom. And you just push that, and it'll click into place. Same for this side, you just put it on like this. Put it on like that. Push, and it'll click into place. And there you go. You have a fully functional uh, working inverter again. Um, ready to go, and with no warranty. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.